Anatomy of the Human Heart The heart is a cone-shaped organ that lies within the mediastinum of the thoracic cavity enclosed in the pericardium. It plays a vital role of pumping blood with oxygen throughout the body. It has four chambers, the right atrium and ventricle which are responsible for pulmonary circulation, and the left atrium and ventricle responsible for systemic circulation. The right atrium is the right upper quadrilateral chamber that receives deoxygenated blood from the superior vena cava. Inferior vena cava, coronary sinus and small veins such as the Bijan veins and anterior cardiac veins. It pushes the blood through a large opening known as atrioventricular valve into the right ventricle. This valve prevents blood from regurgitating back into the atrium. The interior is divided into sinus venarum and atrium proper, which are the smooth posterior and rough anterior parts respectively. All veins mentioned initially, except anterior cardiac veins, open into the smooth posterior part. The anterior aspect, on the other hand, is said to be rough due to presence of transverse muscular ridges, the muscular pectinati. On the exterior, it is prolonged to the left upper anterior part to form an appendage known as the right auricle. The vertical right atrioventricular groove lodges the right coronary artery and small cardiac vein. The triangle-shaped right ventricle drains from right atrium through an inflowing part. It pushes the blood through an outflow part, the infundibulum, into pulmonary trunk which then carries it to the lungs. In the lungs, it becomes oxygenated before entering the left heart chambers for systemic circulation. It is carried by pulmonary veins into the left atrium. The left atrium then pushes the blood through bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. Finally, the left ventricle contracts to push out the blood through the aortic valve. The aorta then carries it to various parts of the body. These events must repeat itself uninterruptedly in the same order to continue the cycle and maintain the function of the heart. Externally, the human heart has an apex, a base, three surfaces, and four borders. The base is the same as the posterior surface of the heart. It is formed by a large portion of left atrium and a small portion of right atrium. The cone-shaped apex is formed by the left ventricle at the left fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicular line. It is the outermost and lowermost part of the heart with maximum pulsation. The three surfaces of the heart are diaphragmatic surface, sternocostal surface, and left surface. The four borders of the heart are right, left, upper, and inferior borders. Blood circulates between the heart and various parts of the body through arteries and veins. Oxygen is transported, bound to hemoglobin of red blood cells. With exception of pulmonary vein, veins are usually bluish or dark in color. And this is due to reduced amount of oxygen bound to hemoglobins of the red blood cells in venous blood. On the contrary, the red color of arteries is aided by presence of oxygenated hemoglobins.